going on guys? So just making breakfast and there's something I wanted to sort of share with you. Um, now, I've just got out of bed, hence the hair, the face, everything. Um, but muscle food sausages, um, we're going to try them for the first time. But sausages have so much fat in them. I know I never really, really realised. I, I sort of took a look, like occasionally, but I never really realised they have got so much fat in them. Let's see if we can get them in. There they are. Two of those, two sausages, 32 grams of fat. Now, for my macros, I'm having 62 grams of fat a day. That's half my, just over half my daily allowance of fat. So, looks like we'll be staying away from sausages. Um, but, yeah, 32 grams of fat in that. That is ridiculous. Um, but, I'm going to throw my breakfast together. It's going to be something simple, something easy. Um, and once that's, once it's all thrown together, I'll catch up with you and I'll let you know how the sausages are. Because... I wanted to try them because they're gluten free. So this is it guys, like I said, nice and simple. We just got two sausages, two poached eggs, two bits of toast that I've sort of cut up into triangles so it's like it's more. Um, yeah, let's get into tasting. Now just before we go into sort of tasting the, the breakfast that I've made here, um, just wanna bring up a quick point. The people that they say food tastes bland and it's always boring and it's just, it's not fun. Um, there are two ingredients, two very simple ingredients that you can add that will make your food taste a hundred times better. Um, and now I've got relatively cheap versions of these. You can get sort of other versions. I'm just gonna show you. So, salt and pepper. Now, you might be thinking, what are you talking about Dave? Shut up, like, we know salt and pepper like, makes things taste good, but Using it in your cooking and using it when you, when you're um, making food, it will go 110 times better than what you expected. Now, working in professional kitchens, it's these two ingredients. You pretty much have them salad taped to your side. Like if you don't, if your food isn't seasoned, it's just not. It's you just there's no point. Um, now pepper is quite bitter, so you don't need too much of that. So we're just going to get some of that on the eggs there, because pepper and eggs, delicious. Let's get some of it on the sausages too. There we go. Um, and salt. Salt is, salt is a big thing, something I'm going to be covering um, in the channel once it all comes out. There we go. Um, yeah, once it's, yeah, we're going to start covering that on the channel, um, because this type of salt, it's, got, it's doing nothing for you, it's just adding sodium to your food. Um, but there are different types of salt that you can get that are, they have minerals and vitamins and all sorts in, in the salt. Um, so I'll be, I will be covering that, um, in a separate video, um, because sodium intake is another thing for weight loss. It's a big thing, just like water intake. Um, it's a big thing for weight loss. So yeah, let's try these sausages and see what happens. Right. Sausage. Try another bit quickly. Yeah, so there's there's a definite, you can definitely taste a lack, not even a lack of gluten. It's when you normally eat a sausage and it's all held together and you can chew through it and things, that's what you normally, you've normally got. Um, but with this, you don't. It's once you cut it, it becomes like mushy. Um, so it's just sort of the meat and whatever gluten free rusk they've got in there. Um, but it's a nice sausage. Um, it's fairly decent. Dog, really? I'm gonna show you my dog. So, so this is my dog. You'll hear him clattering around in the back of the videos and you'll hear him growling and things. Um, he really needs a haircut, but yeah. This is my dog. No, don't, don't, don't run away from me. Don't run, don't run away from me. Don't run away from me, come here then. So, yeah. <laughs> this is, this is my dog. So if you hear barking, yeah, if you hear barking, 
it's him. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, the sausages, they're, they're nice. They're not, they're not horrible. I would eat them. So final verdict on the sausages. Um, yeah, I'd eat them. Um, I wouldn't be like, oh, gluten free, no. Um, but they are nice, so definitely recommend. Nice one, muscle food. What's going on guys? So, um, just about to make some breakfast and then gonna head to the gym in a little bit. Um, it's like quarter to one. I'm probably a little bit lazy. Should have got out of bed and made breakfast before now. But it's a bank holiday, so don't need to. Um, yeah, gonna head to the gym, gonna hit a push workout. Um, and I'm gonna do some uh, voiceover and I'm just gonna explain my training split, um, the new program that I'm doing and sort of how it's all gonna fit in and hopefully what I'm gonna achieve from it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make an omelette for breakfast um, and I'll catch you in the gym. What's going on guys? So we're in the gym doing a push workout. So my training is a push, pull, legs, split. So where I can only make it to the gym three, maybe four times a week at the moment, um, it's easier for me so I can hit every body part to do it this way. You don't have to. Um, there are thousands of workout plans out there that can work better for you if you're going more or less times. This just happens to work for me. So, as I say, we are doing a push day. We're starting out with the bench press. Um, got a fairly light weight there, 60 kilos, um, just so that I can hit the reps, so that I can get the work in, get the volume in, because with this, we're going for volume, not just strength. Um, now... Yeah, with the bench press, it's it's form is key. So it's keeping your shoulders tight, keeping your core tight, keeping your feet flat, making sure that everything is firing on all cylinders because you, you don't want to do yourself an injury no matter what the weight is. Now we're into incline bench press um, or incline press, whichever you want to call it. Uh, you can do this with dumbbells. I decided to do it on the machine because it was getting a little busy in the gym at the time. Um, I will go through and film all of my workouts individually and put that up here for you as well if you want to see that um, but that will be at another time so yeah doing it here just absolutely rinsing the chest um, and then we move on to a shoulder press so again on the machine you can do this as an overhead press um, free weights but I did it with the machines so that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video um, I hope you enjoyed it uh, like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.